Hey guys, in today's tutorial we will together create a grainy textured gradient using Affinity Photo, like the one you see right here, with some cool little text inside so you can use it as a wallpaper or whatever you want, also as a background for um, your graphic design work. And to start we need a clean new document in Affinity Photo and we need to create a rectangle as background just a white one um, also activate snapping to help you snap exactly the size of your background i'm using 3840 pixels on 2160 pixels for a 4k resolution and after that we need to use the gradient um, tool we see right here so you can click on the gradient tool and then just draw a gradient from the middle to the top or as you want and as type we need to go with conical and then we have our basic conical um, gradient and we need to adjust our colors so double click on this one and double click right here and then you can go with the color chooser and choose um, cool colors so you can use the colors um, you want but i'm using the colors um, nearly the same i've used in the um, gradient i've shown to you as an example so we're going with something like this more in the blue tone maybe or the violet violet like here and maybe something like this we need to double click and copy this with command c and for windows control c and then paste with command v and control v so we have the same um, color in both of them and then we're selecting the um, command set for back selecting the bottom one and giving it a black then the left one and we're giving it some cool red tone something like this more cherry red it's up to you as said so you can use whatever you want and whatever you think looks good and also the same for the right position something yellow maybe or green something in between what we think looks cool something like this maybe and now what we have to do now we need to give this a layer right here some gaussian blur so selecting the layer right here going down here and selecting gaussian blur and we're clicking on preserve alpha and um, going to 100 pixels and back we're selecting our layer again and we're moving our um, gradient um, a little bit bigger and um, like 40 45 degrees so we have this um, um, look and adjust as we want it to be so maybe like this make it more dark at the bottom less yellow green and something like this and then we can simply select our layer again go to the um, live filters right here and go down to add noise and then we're going with Gaussian um, noise and monochromatic and we're using something like 25 or 30 to get this grainy look that's up to you how um, how high you want the noise to be so I'm going with 25 I think and enter and um, close it and now the only thing missing we could use this as background but um, if you want to get this cool wallpaper like here we could use any word we want but we need some text so we need to go to the um, tools right here or click a T on our keyboard and you are writing for example heaven I've wrote you could re uh, write anything you want like cranny like blurred like gradient whatever you want and whatever you're up to and the um, font I'm using is Druid so I'm selecting the font you can use any font you want selecting Druid giving it a white color making it um, opacity 75% and going with the normal move tool and V on our keyboard going to the middle and you see with our 75% opacity we have the colors um, shine and through a little bit so um, the colors are more harmonic together and now we can give this also a little grainy look um, and so we add noise to make it fit even better and give it for example 30 or again 25% and 
you could adjust the opacity the grain and the colors to make it your own style and yeah that's gonna do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye